Come in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today we have another beautiful delicacy from Zanzibar that's potato chops. And for potato chops, I'm going to start with my meat. This is a fresh beef, ground beef, uh, but I'm sorry it's been in the fridge for the last three days. I've not had the time to make the video. And then I have some diced onions here. I also have some cilantro. And uh, this is a fresh ginger garlic together uh, with some salt as well. And I'm going to be using some lemon and some black pepper. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, browning my meat. I'm not adding anything to it. I just want to make sure I cook till all the pink, I mean the, 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 the meat is no longer pink. And um, so I've not added any water to it, even though the meat does release its own liquid, as you can see. So it's a lot, so that's why I don't like to add any more, any water to it, any liquid to it. Okay, so we're not boiling it, we're just browning it. So in the meantime, I'm going to start with the potatoes, and I've got eggs, potatoes, garlic. I also have some, these are breadcrumbs. These are the normal breadcrumbs that you get in the market. And uh, these are the panko ones, which are, these are whole wheat panko. Okay, and um, yeah, once my meat is cooked, I'm going to add the onions. I have used a medium size onion which gave me about uh, a cup so if you want you can use all of it if you don't want you don't have to use it I'm just uh, I'll probably adding little more this is uh, this meat is about two pounds so some people like it with a lot of uh, onions as well okay and uh, I am not adding any kind of uh, seasoning to this uh, okay, once my onions are sorted for a bit, I've added uh, the um, fresh ginger garlic and you just want to um, saute and make sure that it's well combined. And uh, like I say, I've not, uh, I, I, I'm not going to add any seasoning to this other than black pepper and salt. I like to keep it simple for this uh, particular recipe. And you just want to add, I mean, taste and see if you need any more salt which I do and this is a very bad habit that I have of not measuring my salt and I end up adding a lot of salt in my food so if you have this habit please try and <laughs> get rid of it I do but sometimes I just get carried away and go back to my old habits okay so some uh, black pepper like I say I uh, you can use uh, cumin powder if you want you can use uh, coriander powder if you want or any other seasoning that you prefer go ahead and do it um, okay and then once that's uh, cooked then I just add my cilantro and I love to do the cilantro it's optional if you don't want it uh, I just I just love the flavor of it and the aromas that it brings to the dish okay and this is why I don't like I did not add any kind of seasoning I just like to keep it simple for this particular recipe and some little lemon if you want you can add some green chilies if you want it spicy go ahead and do it and uh, the lemon also just uh, make sure that it's not too overwhelming I've just used one and it depends uh, on your taste buds how you like it okay so you just want to make sure the meat is dry so the lemon that I have added the lemon juice I'm just gonna let it cook for a few minutes to to make sure everything is dried okay and uh, so here my potatoes I've just added just enough water uh, I do not like to drain my water because I feel like I'm throwing away draining away my starch which is very important for binding okay and then I, I like to add some garlic to cook it with my potatoes and once the meat is done I am dividing this into two and the other portion of the meat is for something that's very special that's going to come immediately after this video. Uh, something that people have been asking me forever. So I'm not saying what it is, but uh, after this video you will see it. Okay, inshallah. So my potatoes are cooked and the water is all, all uh, drained, I mean evaporated. There's no liquid, I just want to cook it a little further so I've got my heat on just to make sure that my potatoes do not have any liquid. Okay, and uh, also just smash them while my heat is still on. 
and then I'm just going to turn off the heat. As much as I want them dry, I don't want them to too dry. Okay, so that's it. So turn off the heat and then uh, I like to just mash the potatoes while they're still hot. Okay, it's a quick process. Okay, and um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to wait for the potatoes to cool and then I'm going to start making, assembling my potato chops. There you go. So here's the, pot I'm going to assemble the potato chops. I've got a, a handful of pot uh, mashed potatoes in my hand and you just want to shape them like this, like a little ball, ball but it's uh, hollow. Okay, not so deep. And uh, then add the meat and then cover it with, uh, with the potato on top of it. As you can see, I don't know how to explain this, but I'm sure you, you can understand what I'm doing. Okay, and then you just make it into a shape of a ball, like a tennis ball. I don't know, tennis ball, I think it's, no, tennis ball is too small. Okay, that's about it. It's very simple. Okay, and um, yeah, so I'm just going to make another one. And these are, they're, they're very big for me. And normally they're served as a side dish or even on their own. And uh, normally, whenever I do this at home, I serve it with uh, with a soup and salad, and we just have it as you know, a dinner, light dinner. Okay, because they're they're fairly big, and especially for children, they really don't finish it. They all have maybe half of the chop. Okay, so and uh, after this, uh, I like to once I egg wash them, I actually like to. To keep them in the fridge for like 10 minutes before I fry them. I just feel that they firm up a little more, you know, they become a little more firmer. Okay, so now we're just going to egg wash. I have decided to use only one egg since I didn't have uh, many potatoes. <laughs> I mean, not too many potato chops, okay. So you just want to dip it in the egg and uh, Okay, and then dip it in the uh, breadcrumbs, whatever you decide to use. I like to use panko because uh, I get that crunchy texture. I just love the crunchy texture in my potato chops. But you can use the ordinary, uh, the normal uh, breadcrumbs if you want. And um, yeah, and uh, these you can serve them uh, usually, I don't know, chutney. I, no, we, my kids love it with, um, with the ketchup, tomato ketchup and uh, sour cream and salsa. <laughs> we have uh, changed this. We have um, changed the, we haven't changed it actually. It's just the condiments that goes with it. We've changed the condiments, but there's no hard rule how you, you should serve this. So I'm going to cover this and put them in the fridge. Okay, so once my, you want your, oil to be very hot and then you just dip them in okay and these don't take a long time to cook you just want a little color uh, because you know the the rest of the ingredients inside are already cooked so you know they don't take much time well what can I say about potato chops I actually have been I was googling about potato chops to find out where they originated and um, I have seen very, very few recipes and uh, they are mostly from India. So I don't know. Maybe we got it from them or they got it from us. I don't want to make a mistake of something that I don't know. But uh, it's very few recipes. I think maybe three or four recipes that I found on potato chops. Because I usually like to know where, you know, whatever I make, I like to know where where it's originated from. So, so like I said, there were only few, exactly three to be precise, exactly three. Okay. So anyway, and uh, as you can see, they're nice and golden color and I'm um, getting ready to get them out. And uh, they are very nice and firm. And uh, partly it's because of the potatoes you know, we, I do not like to remove my starch. And also, I don't know, maybe keeping them on the fridge helps. If it does, just go ahead. Because I know a lot of people complain that their potato chops always crack. 
and I've never had that problem. Uh, I haven't had that problem before. Okay, so that's it, and um, my chops, potato chops are ready, and um, ready to serve. So I've got my salad here, and you can see they're nice and round, nice shape, okay? And this is how I like to serve it. And for those who don't know, this is how it's going to look like inside. Very nice and pretty. And we like to have it, like I mentioned earlier, with just some salad and soup. And um, that's about it. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at uh, Aroma of Zanzibar. And as usual, I just want to thank each one and every of, each and every one of you for the support that I've been getting. I still have a lot of recipes. I've got chila to come, inshallah, and maybe some cakes. And uh, so I've got my salsa there and my um, sour cream, and not to forget my hot sauce. I love spicy, but I don't do it in. I don't add any spice in my food because my children don't eat such hot food. So that's why I always have it on the side. So thank you so much and please visit me again.